Billy's Caveman Photos Mahigatam, posted July 2012. Hi, Billy. In Figu Special Bulletin 20, it says, HTTP slash Future of Mankind. Co. UK slash Billy underscore Meyer slash Figu underscore Special underscore Bulletin underscore 20. Of the more than 1,378 pictures from your great journey, only a few remain, namely 42, which really came from you, while the majority of the 1,336 pictures consisted of foisted photocopies of some drawings, etc., which Quetzal discovered very quickly at that time, which is why he destroyed all slides and photos. In the course of the joint correction work on the contact reports by Ta, Florina, and Jana, Billy, and Bernadette Brand, the time for clarifying had also come. In the year 2001, Guido was asked by Billy to make some of the photos available for publication in the corrected Pleiadian Pleiarans contact report block. Therefore, since the year 2001, several genuine dinosaur pictures and dinosaur slides from the possession of Guido Moosbrugger are to be found with Billy again. But these remain strictly under wraps. For the publication in the contact report block, it was strictly ensured, with the help of Ptah, that it only concerned Billy's genuine pictures or his pictures that were only slightly falsified by Schmid, whereby the aforesaid falsification, for a logical reason, found no use. From these two paragraphs, one can imagine the efforts that would be put up by Playarens and Billy slash Figu in order to ensure that no more falsified or unoriginal photos to be presented to the public officially. For this reason, the Pteranodon Asket Nera and other photos were not available from Figu as authentic through official sales. So they allowed to include only those photos which are originally taken by Billy, or those which are only slightly falsified by Schmid. Last year, December, I came across an article written by Luke Bergen for the UFO Courier, Nunier. 18 in April 1996. In that article, he mentioned the similarity of the two primitive cavemen photo with that of the cover photo present on the book, Die Botschaft der Jean, 1995. He seems to have concluded on that topic by saying that Billy used the picture which was also available on the cover photo of the 1995 book, and that the same photo would also be available back in 1975, which he didn't want to bother himself tracing the original source. After reading this, I immediately did a search online which quickly gave me the link to the original source of the picture on that book. HTTPS slash Picasaweb Google com slash lh slash photo slash 4b8qc underscore idu3 sarcx2 vgbud9 gmxg69 xolmj7 jdrs3 zgm feet equal sign direct link this illustration is famously known as march of progress and wikipedia says http slash in wikipedia org slash wiki slash march underscore of underscore progress the march of progress or simply march of progress is one of the most famous and recognizable scientific illustrations ever produced. A compressed presentation of 25 million years of human evolution, it depicts 15 human evolutionary forebears lined up as if marching in a parade from left to right. The image has been copied, modified, and parodied countless times, and has proven controversial in a number of respects. The illustration that has come to be known as the March of Progress was originally commissioned by Time Life Books for the Early Man Volume 1965 of its popular Life Nature Library. This book, authored by anthropologist F. Clark Howell, 1925 to 2007, and the Time Life editors, included a fold-out section of text and images pages 41 to 45, entitled The Road to Homo Sapiens, prominently featuring the sequence of figures drawn by noted natural history painter and muralist Rudolf Zallinger, 1919-1995. As far as I see, either the photo of two primitive cavemen is originally photographed by you in 1975, or it is a manipulated one inserted by the negative elements M.I.B. Schmid. Back in 1975. But since the photograph is officially available in the Pleiadian Pleiarans contact reports, Block 1-2002, with no captions calling it as a hoax, 
I assume that it is considered either an original or slightly manipulated photo. Now what puzzles me is this. If it is an original photo taken by Billy during his space journey in 1975, how come Billy photographed the two cavemen exactly in the same perspective, in the same motion, direction, with the same appearance, shadows, proportions? and so on to which the probability of occurrence is extremely minimal or negligible. The other alternative is to claim that the photograph could be a slightly manipulated one, to which many responded by saying that since the Meyer photo apparently looks like an 100% photo representation in black and white, with all the details of an well-known illustration, it cannot be counted as a slightly manipulated photo, but a completely manipulated photo which fits to the theory of photograph of an illustration. What also puzzles me is this. How did Quetzal in 1975 miss the so-called most famous and recognizable scientific illustrations ever produced? Image has been copied, modified, and parodied countless times and has proven controversial in a number of respects. The March of Progress illustration, which was made and widely known ten years before 1965, Billy made his trip in 1975. Also more puzzling to me is how come Pata, who maintained that only photos of the original or slightly manipulated 42 photos were to be allowed officially in Pleiadian Playarin's contact reports, Block 1 2002, also missed this since 1975, and also even after the, the person Luke Bergen brought this issue, which Figu most probably would be aware of, to the light in 1996. Why didn't Fi Gu didn't give any official explanation since 1996, assuming they knew that this illustration's original was made in 1965? I made CF aware of this in December of 2011, but got no answer until eight months later on July 25th, in which he simply seemed to have stated that Billy didn't falsify an illustration and that it represent only a slightly manipulated one. I also posted this on German Figu Forum in January 2012 and also got no response. Since I am not satisfied with CF's response, I would like to hear this matter directly from Billy. Most or all of the persons including me here came to know the character of Billy from studying various notes, so for us the idea of Billy falsifying an illustration would not be the answer. We are only interested to know how come Billy photographed the two primitive cavemen in 1975, which looks 100% same, only in black and white, and happened to be a famous illustration in 1965, which most probably would be the work of MIB or other. Salome Mahesh Answer Billy photographed the primitive caveman with his photo camera in just the same way he photographed all the other objects and people, etc. Billy doesn't care whether the published photo resembles or matches the famous illustration or not. Since so many of the photos were falsified, etc., and therefore were taken away from Billy by Quetzal, the photos are not important anymore. Note by CF. Besides, the photos of the Great Journey don't prove anything because no one on our planet is capable of verifying Billy pictures in the next thousands of years.